Hi, I'm Jim W6LG, your ham radio Elmer here on YouTube. Welcome to my radio room in Rockland, California. I've been um, confined to bed for a few weeks, um, six weeks for the most part, and uh, have a bunch of videos that I want to make. And so this is one of a series of relatively short videos where I'll be discussing things like return loss. Does SWR matter? Yes, it does. Um, this one's effective radiated power, ERP. Watts ERP. The idea behind ERP is what ultimately gets put out towards the ionosphere on HF. What, or it could be VHF too. Effective radiated power. What are you delivering uh, out into um, uh, space, if you will, or into the ionosphere? So how do we come up with that number? And what does it mean? And what is it? What does it explain? Let's cover what it might explain. Sometimes um, you may answer uh, someone's CQ and he's really strong, but he can't hear you. And he, sometimes the discussion evolves into, well, there was one way skip. I, I don't think so. Um, ERP. Let's first go through the calculation and let's pretend that I have the perfect ham radio station, which I don't, but we'll leave losses out of the picture for this first discussion. Got a Yesu transceiver. It goes into the amplifier. The amplifier puts out 1500 watts. I've got seven eighths inch hard line going back to the tower. I've got a, um, uh, 400 max going up the tower to a three element Yagi that has six dB gain or four times. So I'm going to exaggerate. Um, 1500 watts gets to the antenna. The antenna has four times gain. So the ERP is 6000 watts. Um, Let's pretend that a uh, buddy of mine answers and he's running, just to make it easy, let's say by the time you figure losses in his system, his ERP is 6 watts. He's got maybe 7, 8 watts out of his transceiver and it goes to an in-fed wire. Um, and so his ERP, just, just to make the numbers work, his ERP is um, uh, 6 watts. I'm 6,000 watts. So my signal going towards him is 1,000 times stronger. A 1 and 3 zeros, which is 30 dB. In some transceivers, 30 dB would be approximately 6 dB per S unit. 5 S units. Some newer models, it, it's even a bigger number. But let's say 5 S units. He's hearing me S9. He's answering and his signal is 5 S units weaker. Um, so his signal to me is S4. I have a high noise level here, just horrific sometimes, and he's being covered up by the noise. His signal's being covered up by the noise. If he were running 1500 watts to a three element Yagi and he pointed it my way, um, I would be able to hear him just fine. Or if he had a vertical in the backyard that had no losses getting a signal to it, like maybe a DX commander, which is a really efficient antenna. Um, and he was putting 1500 watts into it. His ERP coming back to me might be 1500 watts. There the difference is 
smaller, it's not quite an S unit. Effective radiated power, ERP. Do we need to pay attention to that in designing our station? And my answer to that is, yeah. Um, I believe, and others do not, that um, I want to deliver every watt of power to the antenna that I can. I want as small a loss in the system as is possible. Uh, to that end, I use 7 8 inch hard line, uh, which I pulled out from Wolf Mountain and brought down to here. Um, it has almost no loss at 20 meters. Uh, the switch box up on the wall that picks antennas that I built has very little loss. So I'm trying to deliver every dB of signal to the antenna that I can and radiate that. Um, it's my firm belief that uh, dB here, dB there, another dB over here, all of a sudden your signal is down 3 dB and that can be heard and can make a difference in being heard. So um, I want to get as much ERP as I can. So that's my view of effective radiated power. Um, you may have a different view. Uh, if, for example, you're doing a POTA activation uh, and you're running relatively low power off a battery, um, you may want to think about that. What is the ERP of my POTA station? How efficient is my antenna? I've got 20 watts output. I, uh, do you want to run 7 8 inch hard line? No. Uh, you may not even want to, you may not even want to run LMR 400. But those are considerations that you should think about as you want to put out the strongest possible signal. Um, because the other side of that would be putting out the weakest possible signal on it. And that makes no sense. Anyway, effective radiated power. What's going out from the antenna in terms of watts? So it's the sum of everything and losses too. Um, when I said I had 1,500 watts and zero feed line loss, that's not exactly true. There's some, but I've kept it to a minimum. In fact, the tuner box I have um, I built it big uh, so that there are very low losses inside that box. Effective radiated power. All right. 73 from Jim W6LG in Rockland.